Hey everyone, it's Tara with Sweet Country Glam bringing you this week's video. As promised, it is our Halloween special, so let's get started. All right, friends, so we have a tumbler we're gonna be working with with a new company that uh, sent me their product to review. It's from Hippie Crafter. And I have to say, I'm really stoked about this epoxy that I'm about to show you that I put on my Halloween tumbler. I'm gonna just show you the back side, not the front, and just how beautiful that gloss, that shine, I love it, super beautiful. So stoked about this mug. I wanna go and make tons of others which is perfect for the holidays, right? Okay, so we're gonna be working with different kinds of vinyl, different kinds of material, including printable vinyl. I'm gonna show you how I jazz up my tumbler mug. So we're gonna be decorating a bunch of different earrings as well, including the jack that I have on. So without further ado, let's head over to Design Space. I'll walk you through each tutorial and let's have fun. Okay, so we have a bunch of various earrings we're working with. So as you can see, I took my teardrop earring and I just flipped them upside down because you can actually have these either way you like. And I have a cute little ghost that I got off of Design Space. I also pulled this skull off of Design Space because he wasn't necessarily what I wanted. I just wanted the eyes and the nose because I had my own skull here. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be creating uh, just by having just a little bit of vinyl. This is actually um, a very small use of your materials and just creating my own little skull outline of earrings and you can make these as big as you want or as little as you want. So pretty much what I did here is I grabbed just a plain circle from my shapes and I'm gonna show you a quick slice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my circle, go up to a range and I want you to send him to the back so that now that your skull is on top, because all I'm going to do is I just want his eyes and his nose from the image, and this is exactly how I did this. So once you have that aligned, go ahead and drag your selection box, and I want you to go over here to where it says slice. Go ahead and click that, your screen will probably blink, takes a moment, go ahead and pull your skull guide to the side, go ahead and pull him out, I usually delete him so he's out of the way, now you have this nice little slice image and you're gonna have this ring around him. So in order to get rid of that, I want you to go to the far right hand corner and click on contour for me. And now let's go ahead and zoom out because this guy's pretty big. And I just want you to click on this center guy here. That should remove all of his surrounding area. Contour is kind of like that missing key to a lot of images where you're like, wow, I don't want that to be cut or drawn and you're trying to figure out a way to remove it, go to your contour button. It's in the bottom right hand corner. All right, so as promised, I'm showing you on my cell phone because I have a lot of friends that are just having a hard time finding all of the similar desktop buttons and options that you see on the full screen. So let me just show you real quick. I have the same screen that's in front of me as I was just showing you the walkthrough for the earrings on the desktop and show you down at the bottom, you are going to have your image, your text, your shapes. As you can see, I'm just dragging my finger Across and you can see how I'm moving that. I want you to click on actions and as you do that, you're gonna see that everything pops up. Your actions are gonna be a lot of specific things like grouping, ungrouping, attaching, and then this is where your weld and your slice and your flatten and where you duplicate and contour. So just as we were doing earlier with the skull, I um, had the contour on and you can see how you can click on him and when they're grayed out, that means you can't see them, that kind of thing. Okay, so click back on it for it to go away. Now you can click on layers if you need to hide anything using the eyeball and then you just click on layers again when you want it to go away. It's pretty simple on how you just go ahead and click on something and then click on it again for it to be removed from your site so that you can go back to your canvas and do what it is that you need to do. And you can always pinch your fingers, make it bigger so that you can see things. And what's really nice friends is you can see at the top here, I'm gonna click on those three centers. You can see how I clicked on it and then it makes it bigger. You can go to home, you can go back to canvas or you can go to the make it button. So now, and then it'll have your icon in the upper left-hand corner along with your save option. Let me go ahead and click on your edit button. And this is where you're gonna find your line type and your sizing area. And then if you need to flip positions or do any aligning or arranging. So let me go ahead and click on an image. You can see how now all of these become available and they show you the size 
freezing right over here the height and width you can click again on the padlock and it unlocks if you need to and then if you need to add a shape so you can do any slicing just like we did these are all your options for you you just slide it over and grab the correct shape you need all right so pretty straightforward stuff if you have any questions go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section so you can make this any color you like. I like to always contrast it a different color just so that I can see what it's gonna look like on my image. Go ahead and move this to the side. And you can see he's at an angle. He's already attached. You can go ahead and duplicate him as many times as you need per how many earrings you are going to be making. And you're all set. Now, I found the Hocus Pocus. I believe I just snagged this off of just a search. I will go ahead and leave a design bundle link for you so that you can go ahead and snag this as well. I even like to put these on an earring or even a necklace. So you can see right here, you can make this an earring to match your necklace so you can have a whole set. And so I'm gonna be showing you how I put that on an earring as well as this cute little ghost because I have a bunch of these earrings already done. I am going to show you how we get these all assembled and cut. So go ahead and make sure that everything is in a different color because when you send it over to your Joy, it will populate everything on a different mat. So all you have to do is pay attention to what fabric or what material you're placing on the mat. that I'm going to be putting on my earrings. Now I have two SVG earring cutouts. I have my double hole, my teardrop, and then we just have the single one here. Now you can pick either one. Again, I'll leave all the links in the descriptions to these earrings. And what I like about it is that you can go ahead and drag your image over. And then that way you can see what it's gonna look like right away and then you can get your sizing down. So you can go ahead and get your dimensions that I have here. I try to keep my earrings under the two and a half. I just noticed that the bigger they are, they just seem to get caught in my hair and I don't have really long hair, but I try and keep them at that two and a quarter height. And then you can go ahead and see the width. And then let's go ahead and look at our jack here. We have them at 1.275 by 1.18. Now you can go ahead and adjust these to your liking based on how big you want your earring to be and then let me come over here show you the dimensions of the candy skull i love this one i made these last halloween and the teachers at my school just absolutely love them and then let me go ahead and show you the sizing for this guy and again you can always go up to the sizing and unlock your padlock there you can see how he becomes unlocked and then you can adjust the width and the height to your liking instead of just going with um, the default settings because if you change the width with the lock 
down, it will change your height as well. So for example, if I got rid of the three, you're gonna see that this is gonna go down by three. So now you're gonna go ahead and decide what color you're going to cut out your jack. A bunch of different variations that I'm gonna be showing you today and I'm gonna go ahead and get these sent over. I'm actually gonna switch this over to my Joy because this is a Joy friendly project. I'm really trying to make this accessible for the Joy because I know I have a lot of friends that are wanting to use their Joy and that's the only machine that they have at the time. I'm actually going to make this a separate color just so that I can get this all cut at the same time. I wanna show you what happens when I go to make it. It's going to populate it into separate mats for me so then that way I'm not having to keep going back and forth and hiding and and unhiding my images I can just go straight to the mat and get everything cut and this is where you want to double check your mat move anything around if you want to add more fill up the entire mat so you're doing a bunch for a Halloween party or a birthday go ahead and make sure that everything looks great now you can see over here we need to go back and grab our skull and we need to go to attach all because you can see how it pulled some of its designs. So just go back to cancel. This may happen, don't freak out. Now just go ahead and click back on your skull and go to attach for me. And once you attach, it's going to put everything together so nothing is going to be cut separately. Go back to make it. Again, you're using your own material on your mats. So go ahead and click on mat. And then again, we're gonna scroll back down to our skull and make sure and see that everything has now removed from the sides of Jack and down below, it is now part of the skull. And it looks like you are all set. And now you're just gonna go ahead and hit continue. Make sure after you unload each mat, you put the correct color or correct fabric. Go ahead and get it loaded on. And let's some past projects my husband and I were working on. 
I made sure to paint them early in the morning after my son had his breakfast and when he was down for his nap I decided I was gonna go ahead and print some of my heat iron on transfer vinyl you can tell he's excited and this really pretty orange that I'm using from Sizer and then I use permanent joy smart vinyl for my pumpkin I sent both of these through my joy because they were small enough on their width they were under that four and a quarter and so I'm just wanting to show you guys how you can jazz up just everyday little pieces of wood and make it your own and save you some money instead of going to the craft stores and spending eight or nine dollars for this so what I did is I went and I grabbed this trick-or-treat from design space and then my welcome to our patch was part of a bundle from design bundles and I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description for you you can pretty much put whatever you want out of those bundles they're super cute super fun super easy and these are great gift ideas all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these printed, but please be sure to pay attention if you are using iron on vinyl, which you can on wood, and I'm gonna show you how. Um, be sure to mirror your image because you are gonna have to flip it over. for the. Okay, so what I wanted to do here is I just wanted to take the mouth for this um, Pumpkin King. So let me just show you real quick how I got this image to the left. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a shape. I just grabbed a circle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make him just small enough to where that he covers the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. Then I'm gonna go ahead and arrange it to the back. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm going to select these two images and I'm going to go down here to the bottom right and I'm going to hit slice and what that's going to do is that's going to give me the inside part of his mouth okay so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of these pieces to the slice my son's having fun with keys right now so now you have these extra two pieces don't worry you can just go over to the contour and what you're going to do is you're just going to click on them let me just show you what this looks like go to if it's zoomed in just zoom out and then just click on the pieces you don't want. Now, hi, the contour button is kind of a miss for a lot of people. They don't know that it's there and that it can do this for you because you're like, wow, there's something I don't want cut. Go to contour, most likely anything that's highlighted, you can go ahead and shade it. So once again, you click on it to see it, click off of it for it to go away. Then you can hit the X button and now you're left with the mouth. And pretty awesome, right? So in order for to send this through the joy, I had to hide the mouth on one and just cut the eyes and the nose, and then I cut the mouth separately. Let's go ahead and get them cut and add it.
for my last pumpkin I got this really pretty white one and it was a lot taller than my orange ones and I wanted to do something um, that was more home decor related just something for everyday looks and so therefore I found this SVG and again I'll leave the links down below this was part of one of my design bundles super cute um, what I ended up doing for this guy is I'm gonna go ahead and get him cut out on some really pretty kind of a bronze shimmer metallic Cricut vinyl and this was a big piece so I had to send this through my maker so I'm gonna go ahead and get that switched over so that Friends, another great SVG that I found from Creative Fabrica. I love the Hocus Pocus movie. Who doesn't, especially during the Halloween season? So super excited because I have a special, I have a special printable vinyl from StarCraft. Actually, I believe this one is from Cricut. I will go ahead and leave the link down below for you for all the products that I'm using. Super stoked to try this out. I'm actually going to be putting this on my Tumblr. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cut. For this, I'm not going to need to mirror it because I'm going to be putting it right side up. So this is something that's not going to be uh, ironed on an image. So friends, make sure when you're doing stickers, you do not need to mirror them. All right, let's go ahead and get this sent over. I'm gonna go ahead and get it printed and I am actually going to send this through my maker to have it cut out the little
my StarCraft printable vinyl and I just sent this through my printer. I didn't even have it cut it. I just made sure that I mirrored it because I made a boo-boo and forgot to mirror it the last time. But I found this awesome SVG from Creative Fabrica. I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description. A really great site to find some fonts and awesome SVGs. They have some really great deals. Also make sure to check out their subscription plan. I have an awesome code to save you 30% off down in the description. All right, so all I have to do is either send this to my maker or my heir and get it printed and then I hand cut it just with my scissors. And Remember friends, life is sweet, set some goals, and have a blessed day.